Hi, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Last year I shared with you a video about an African violet cross pollination and today I'm happy to show you baby seedlings ready to be transplanted. Here you can see developing seed parts, I will leave a video link in the description on how I did cross pollination between African violets. Once seeds were ready to be planted, I planted them, then I let them germinate under a blue fluorescent light. So here you can see tiny seedlings. There's, I took some photos during few growing phases. And here seedlings are old enough to be transplanted or separated. Just to let you know, it took me a lot of months before I get this result. But I didn't use any kind of fertilizer, so maybe that's why. The next time I will try to use some fertilizers for seedlings, just to see if it's gonna grow uh, better and faster. My medium mix is pit mass and perlite at 50-50 ratio. I'm using a pre-sterilized pit moss by heating 3 cups of pit moss in microwave for 1 minute. For baby plants, I'm using one ounce clear cup and I made some holes at the bottom with a heating tool. The actual growing medium is very light and almost dry. It should be easy to separate baby plants. So here is the first nice baby plant. And here I have a bunch of various sizes baby plants I need to separate. I will do my best to carefully separate all plantlets. They're so fragile. This one is quite a big baby plant with a lot of leaves and roots. I divided all plantlets and placed by group of medium to big and a group of tiny ones. I will start by planting each baby plant into individual cup. I fill it with the potic mix, making a cavity in the center and inserting baby plantlet roots. This one has bigger roots, so I add one thin layer of potting mix to the cup, place the plant root in the center, and I'm adding potting mix all around. This is a very nice baby plantlet. So here I have 24 mini plantlet spots. And I will add some water all around. I'm using a pre-made rooting water to reduce the transplantation stress and stimulate healthy root growth. To make a rooting water, I'm using a pro mix root booster, one teaspoon per one and a half liter of water. I'm placing baby plants under a clear container with a dome for a greenhouse effect. Actually, I'm reusing a pastry uh, box. And here I place some uh, under a ceiling planter with a dome. Planted all tiny plantlets into one planter to let them grow a bit more and also water it with the rooting water and I will also cover them with a dome. 
All baby plants will grow under a daylight LED lamp. I hope this video is useful for you. Thank you for watching. Please share and don't forget to subscribe.